Hello, it's Gordon here. Hope all is well with you. In this Facebook Live I've called The Best Personal Development Book because I love reading personal development books and obviously I'm old and I knew the world before the internet <laughs> and in that old school world before the internet it, it was all about the books, wasn't it? Actual physical books that we used to have to get from the library or buy in the shop or order in the post and we would hold it in our actual hands and read it with our actual eyes. Books. <laughs> yes, lovely. Now, I'm reading a personal development book at the moment and I like it. I'm enjoying it and I'm thinking, ooh, this one might go on, might go on my list of my top favourite personal development books. And it made me think about my list of favourites. And that made me ask the question, well, what, what would you say? What is your favourite personal development book? Or do you have a list of favourite personal development books? And when I think of my list, I like to think that in all of those books, there is at least one or two nuggets that I can instantly recall, can instantly tell you about, and will come back to time and time again. So it's a principle that I believe is solid and foundational and obviously therefore of huge value. So let me talk about some of the books that I think are great personal development books and I would love to hear your comments about any of these books if you've read them or what your favourites are. How about your top three favourites or your top five favourites? Leave them in a comment below wherever you have to be seeing this video. Now, the book I'm reading at the moment is by Brendan Bouchard, who I've spoken about before. I like him. I quite like his style. He has a lot of content in the personal development niche and also in the make money online niche, internet marketing niche. So I like the way he combines the both because that's something that I try and do. Not quite at his level yet, it has to be said, because he is a multi-gazillionaire. <laughs> so the book of his that I'm reading at the moment, I've read a few of his. This one is called The Motivation Manifesto, which is a nice little title. And I've had it for a while and just put off reading it for a while. I'm not quite sure why, but I'm getting into it at the moment. And there are a lot of great points in there. It could be that I'm thinking he's got great points in there because I've seen him make the points in his videos and in his other books. So yeah, The Motivation Manifesto by Brendan Bouchard. That's the book I'm reading at the moment. If I think back to maybe the first transformational personal development book I read, just try to think what it was. I think it was probably Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. A lot of people say it is a classic and it is a good book. It's got some great points in there. Some other ones I read. Someone gave me a book when I was 18. A friend of mine, I'll well, say someone, I don't know exactly who it was. Uh, a friend of mine gave me a book called The Lazy Man's Guide to Riches by a chap called Joe Carbo. And I, as soon as I read the book, I knew why my friend had given it to me because it was about making money, yes, but also the personal development side the personal development traits that you would need to develop, A, to make money and just to improve yourself anyway. The Lazy Man's Guide to Riches by Joe Carbo. And then there's one called Lead the Field by Earl Nightingale. Now, I first came across that book and first absorbed that as an audio series, a cassette audio series. Shows how old that was. Again, that was, oh blimey, well over 30 years ago, probably more like 35 years ago. Lead the Field by Earl Nightingale. I'm not even sure if it is a book, to be honest, so maybe that doesn't count. Moving forwards a few years, maybe 10, more than 10 years after that, when I was coming out from the other side of depression, where, as I've spoken about on other occasions, I was in a bad way. There were various books that helped me come through that. One of them was called The Road Less Travelled by M. Scott Peck. That's a good book. I like that one. There's another book called Talk and Grow Rich by Ron Holland. And you see what he did there? 
Very nice. He used the well-established nature of Think and Grow Rich, came up with the title Talk and Grow Rich. I like that, very nice, and it's a good book. Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway by Susan Jeffers. That is a cracking book. I've had one friend dismiss that book to me because they said, well, the title sums it up, so you don't actually need to read the book. Mm. I can see what he means with that, but I would counter by saying, well, it's a brilliant book then. If the title sums up what the book is all about, you don't need to read the book. It's done a bloody good job, hasn't it? But actually, more than that, there are two huge nuggets that I got from Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway. And one of them particularly is about taking responsibility and looking back and not blaming ourselves. That is a huge point I got from that book. That's a good one. The Success Principles by Jack Canfield. That's coming more up into the modern day and age. And Jack Canfield again talks about internet marketing, making money online, but massively into the personal development, self-improvement, goal achievement side of life. And The Success Principles by Jack Canfield is a whopping, whacking, great big, massive book. It's a, it's a solid old piece of work. Perhaps too big, because it might put you off the size of it, but I would, do I recommend it? Yes, I do. And then up to the one that I say I'm reading at the, at the moment, The Motivation Manifesto by Brendan Bouchard. So that is a good list of books. Some of them may be more to do with the making money, the internet marketing, and some of them specifically about self-improvement, personal development, and goal achievement. Now, my view is that if you read all of those books, or one or two of them, took on board what they say, and here's the key point, one of the four magic words beginning with A, action. You've got, to, you've got to take action. You can absorb the principles, you can agree with them, but it's not going to change anything unless you actually take action. And that could be taking action to work on changing your thoughts. Because our actions are directed by thoughts, <laughs> and those thought-directed actions lead to our consequences, our results. This is something that you'll see as a strand throughout all of these books. It is an absolute life transformation fundamental. If you want to change the results, you've got to change your actions, and that means you've got to change your attitude. I, in fact, I could come up with a book title well, I did. I, one of my books is Transform, Transform Your Life in 21 Days. But if I came up with a book title that said, to change your results, you need to change your actions, you need to change your thoughts, that would be quite a nice book title. And people might say, well, I don't need to read the book then because the title says it all. And a bit like Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway, I say, well, it's done a bloody good job then, hasn't it? <laughs> you could say, well, don't read the book if you don't want to, just read the title but pay me four ninety nine at the same time, that would be good. Oh, I might just do that. Probably is, or probably is the book already called that, to be fair. Maybe there isn't. Uh, maybe I should go off and hit the Google, hit the Google page for a while. <laughs> so there we go. Some of my favourite books in the personal development field. What would you say are your favourite books? Have you read any of those that I mentioned? What do you think of them if you have? And what are your favorite personal development books? And here we go as well, why? Why are they your favorites? What is the one, two, or maybe more golden nuggets that you drew from that book or those books that you can come back to over and over again and you know that you'll be able to come back to at any time in the future? Jenny saying, check it out. Thanks for sharing your favorite books. You're welcome, Jenny, because I, I'm, I've started participating in a, in a site called Quora, which is a question and answer site. And I, I'm in the self, well, I'm in a, a few topics there, but in the self-improvement side, there's a lot of questions coming up. And one of them is about people's favorite books. And I thought, well, 
I should be sharing that in my Transforming Life Now group, shouldn't I? Of course I should. That is a subject for a great Facebook Live. And it could be that you might say, I haven't got a favourite personal development book. In fact, I've never read a personal development book. I would go like that if, if you said that. But it's possible. Of course it's possible. You could be new. You could be brand new to the whole idea about self-improvement, personal development, goal achievement. You might never have considered it before. You might be brand new to it. And if you are, thank you for watching my content. Or it could be that you've absorbed content online. Or maybe you've listened to a podcast, but you've never actually read a physical book. I'm one of those people that says there is a certain something about holding a physical book in your hand. I'm one of those odd people. Well, I don't know, is it odd? I like the smell of books. I like plunging my nose in between the pages and having a good old sniff. Don't you? That's not just me, is it? Tell me that's not just me. <laughs> Whether that's new books or old books, they've got a completely different smell, haven't they? Well, I don't know, that sounds odd as I'm saying it actually, but well, I'm hoping it's not odd. Yeah, even now, if someone says, oh, here's an ebook or, you know, a PDF book, even though I've written ebooks myself and sell my own ebooks, there is nothing better than actually having a, a physical book that you can hold in your hand, put in your bag, take out to the park, sit on the bench and actually get out and have a good old read. So there we go. I'm into waffle mode. I know I am, so I'm going to stop. Personal development books, fascinating subject. I really would be interested to hear what your favourites are. Okay, signing off for now. Wishing you as ever health and happiness. And I will speak to you again soon.